Hi, and welcome to my channel, I Can Sew. I'm Kendra, and I'm excited to have you back today. I've missed you. Um, since the last time that we were together, I came up with a new sewing series called, Is It So Easy? And that's because I, as you saw in my previous video for the McCall pre -spring, 2018 pre-spring haul, there were several patterns that note, um, noted that they were easy to sew on the back. And I want to know, is it so easy? I'm going to try them out. And each Thursday, that is what I'm trying to commit to, is each Thursday, I'm going to either post a sew along for the video or just a very detailed review um, of the patterns that I've chosen to sew. And so far for the month of March, um, I have some great contenders because I think that they'll just make excellent um, things that I want to wear. So, again, this is number 7726. I brought this up in the previous video, and it's right here. Now, I follow Brittany J. She's a, another YouTuber on here that sews beautiful pieces. And she did a sew-along for this um, here. I think she does a great job at sew along. I didn't find her this pattern to be easy. So I was like, okay, you clearly say on the back, easy. See right here at the top? Excuse me, I got other patterns on my lap. Easy. So I'm going to see for myself, is it easy to sew? And I'm thinking about going with um, view C. If I go for B, it will be longer than hers. I would want it to come all the way down. But then again, I really want D, but I don't know. So I, well, I'll have to see. I'll make that decision and it probably will determine... Um, depending on how much fabric that I actually have. The next one that I have on here that clearly says easy is this dress here. Now, this dress doesn't look like it's hard to sew, and it's I'm going to do um, view B, the one she has on. I think the dress is a beautiful fit on her, and I also think it's a beautiful picture. Uh, I mean, beautiful color, and the number is 7717, and I'm going to keep showing you the back of all these patterns that McCall claims is easy. See? easy so we will put it to the test Kendra with I can sew will put it to the test because I um need a pattern to be easy and I'll go over with you as soon as I'm finished showing you some of these patterns what I consider to be easy another one that I think would make a beautiful um spring outfit and I've seen it on the McCall's Instagram page in several different versions is this one here, which is 7730. I also just um, obtained this one. And again, EZ. So I hope their definition of easy is what I have as a definition of easy. And my definition of easy is not that many pattern pieces, not a whole lot of brand new techniques that re require a lot of explanation and me to pull out my um, sewing dictionary. And also, um, one that has just very clear instructions and where the pictures are clear as well. I find that sometimes when I'm reading um, some of the patterns that aren't for new people, that the, the techniques that they discuss and the, um, and the pictures that they show aren't that clear. But I'm assuming that they're not that clear because they figure uh, you should already know. So, I'm going to go through those three. Those three are on my topic now again i want to do this like every thursday so i'm trying to commit to every thursday and if i can get it done every thursday and then that's only like what four four um outfits this month i mean so i will have to see as far as that jacket goes i really have to see if i have some ponty knit available because that's what i'm going to use um i think i do have some but i think it's only black and i don't want a black jacket in the spring so we'll have to see how that works out um, also, I showed you this one here. I absolutely love this one. I'm kind of shocked that they said this is easy, but I like this version D here. And it says easy, so we will see. Because I think I read somewhere that it requires boning. See, it says easy here. Now, let me read the back of this as far as the suggested fabrics. It says um, crepe, poplin, satin, and cotton blends. I'm thinking this will look oh, gorgeous and like an Ankara, is that what it's called? The African print. And I have some of that wax African print here at the house already. So it says here that it has the jumpsuit is fitted through the bus. Um, have line, it has a line bodice, a neckline steed variations. Um, the back zipper and the ankle length pants also 
as ankle length pants. Okay, so let me see here as far as the notions go. You need um, a zipper, one hook and eye, and C, you need a, a yard and a half of covered boning. I don't know if I'm ready for a covered boning yet, but we will see because a girl likes a covered boning. You know, I like boning, period. Just makes you look snatched and it's very pretty. So I'm going to see, um, you know, how that looks on me. So again, wish me luck and make sure that you hit that um, subscribe button, the notification bell, so that you can come back and every week you will be able to go over this. I, I plan to even do like a tutorial where I'm showing you how to do it. Not showing you, not showing you, but like a sew along with me so that you can see as I'm sewing along, is it something that a new a newbie or a novice um, sewer can follow along with. And I um, and I also want you to comment and give me a thumbs up on this video if you're really interested in seeing this one and seeing other patterns too. I have a ton of patterns um, here in the house that I need to go through to see if Butterick, Vogue, um, and Simplicity also have very easy patterns for me to follow and so that we can go over those too, okay? So again, I am Kendra with I Can Sew. I'm excited that you're here today. Thank you for being here today. And I will check you out next time. Say bye, Jameson.